Hey everybody, welcome to Uncle Dave's Brigade. Today is Tuesday, so it's Texas Tuesday here on the channel. And we've got a native Texan that uh, we're going to be playing every Tuesday. And today I've got Janice Joplin, me and Bobby McGee. So uh, let's get to the music. I got some history and some trivia about her and about the song in just a moment, but let's get to the music. And if you would do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, post notification bell, and make a comment. I'd like to hear what uh, you have to say and make some suggestions. Here we go. Busted flat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. And I was feeling near as faded as my jeans Bobby thumbed a diesel down Just before it rained And rode us all the way into New Orleans I pulled my harpoon Out of my dirty red bandana I was playing soft while Bobby sang the blues <laughs> When she wiped her slapping time I Bobby's hand in mine. We sang every song that Javin knew. Freedom is just another word for nothing left to lose. Nothing, don't mean nothing, honey, if it ain't free.
well, they don't write songs like that anymore, and they don't perform songs like that anymore either. That was written by Chris Christofferson, uh, a very prolific writer and singer and actor himself, and um, it's sung by, uh, uh, recorded by a couple of other people other than um, um, uh, Girl, as she's also known, but um, she made it famous, and she owned it. So the other thing is Janice, uh, she grew up in southeast Texas in a town called Port Arthur, Texas. She sang in the church choir as a young girl, and then as she got older, she became quite a rebel in high school and uh, gravitated toward music and uh, got into the, the wrong crowd, as they would say, and um, ditched school. She went, uh, went to a couple of different colleges and ended up at UT in Austin, and then got into the music scene and discovered her talent was uh, really good. And then eventually got with the, a, a, a band called Big Brother and the Holding Company. And she was with them for a couple of years. And her career was very short. And uh, really from 66 to 70, she started out with Big Brother and the Holding Company from 66 to uh, 68. And there were some tensions and things there. She left the band went out on her own and um, she recorded a couple albums and then um, she died of an overdose in 1970 at age 27. And um, her hits actually came, this particular hit came after her death. It was uh, released and, and um, was a big hit after she passed away. And unfortunately she was into the drugs and real heavily, and um, she died of an accidental overdose. So sad to lose her. I mean, we lost so many people like that in that period of time, and uh, she got caught up in it. But she made an impact, and she had one of those rare voices, and she gravitated towards the blues And when she was uh, in high school, and she discovered her voice and discovered um, she really enjoyed doing it. But she made a huge impact and influenced a lot of people who are particularly young girls, young women, who wanted to get into the business and into the scene, music scene. So she had a huge impact, still does. And a lot of people look back and, and see her, and she was a, a pioneer in the rock era for women. Still is. So that's a little bit about her, about the song. And about Chris Christopherson, who wrote it on assignment, uh, his record company told him, she said, the owner of the company told uh, Chris, I want you to write a song called Me and Bobby McKee. Now, Bobby McKee, with a K, was his secretary. And Chris mistook it for, for McKee, didn't, didn't hear it correctly, wrote it down the wrong way. And it took him a while because he doesn't write on assignment. He just doesn't function that way. He writes some inspiration. But he took it and eventually came up with uh, the song as he was riding a truck uh, between Baton Rouge and Nashville. And the windshield wipers were flapping. And uh, that's where you see it in the, in the uh, song there. And he said by the time he got to Nashville, he had the song written in his head. So... That's a little bit of trivia for the song. Hope you come back. Hope you enjoyed it. Make some comments, and we'll have uh, more later on. And be kind to each other out there, and be kind to yourself, okay? Thanks a lot.